hi long time no see eh <laughs> so it's 2018 which means i am back here again to do that silly old tag that i've done three years in a row now and i know that it's like what the 18th of january and we're over two weeks into the new year so that means i'm probably really quite late but i'm gonna do it anyway question number one what did you do in 2017 that you'd never done before attended university yeah i did that i'm in uni now this is my uni bedroom sorry if the lighting is shit it's not that great in here unfortunately did you keep your new year's resolutions and will you be making more next year so i think the new year's resolutions i made last year was to a just look after myself and b to get back into um old hobbies such as making youtube videos drawing reading etc um and i did read a bit more this year i did draw a little bit more but um youtube videos <laughs> Honestly, yeah, this year is probably just going to be the same. It's probably just going to be be a bit more active in the things I do. Don't just sit around doing nothing. Go out, go to some of the classes, go to yoga, um, draw, read, make videos, throw myself out there. Did anyone close to you give birth? <laughs> yeah, my auntie gave birth and the little gorgeous little girl. She's she's the cutest and sweetest and happiest thing I've ever seen. And she just she brings light into our lives. She's, she's stop. Did anyone close to you die? No, I don't think we had any deaths this year. Which, you know, it's always good. What countries did you visit? Well, I went to, oh, Italy. That was pretty amazing. We went around Rome for a couple of days and then we moved up into, is it Umbria? And went around loads of cities and CC and Sicily and all these incredible places and just lounged around by the pool in our gorgeous villa. I have a video that I'm making on that actually, I like a little vlog, I'll let you know when I've uploaded it. What would you like to have in 2018 that you lacked in 2017? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, hmm. A little bit more faith in myself. What dates from 2017 will remain etched upon your memory and why? <laughs> 15th of February 2017 is when me and my boyfriend got together. Um, and 16th of September, because that was my first day at uni. This one moved. What was your biggest achievement of this year? Um, getting an unconditional from my first choice uni. That was, that was pretty freaking cool. <laughs> What was your biggest failure? I mean, I failed two driving tests. I suppose that is a literal failure. Did you suffer illness or injury? No, not really. Oh, wait, no, wait a minute. Yeah, I did. Um, it turns out what I thought was eczema in my hand wasn't actually an infection. That had gotten really, really bad. And then actually it still might be eczema anyway. And I was uh, found out that I was anemic, which which wasn't fun. So there's lots of tablets that I had to take for those two problems. What was the best thing you bought? Ooh, jeans. I bought these pair of jeans. Hi, right, let me show you these ones. And I love them so much. <laughs> They're really comfy and cozy, and they just make me look more stylish than I used to. So, you know, that's cool. Whose behaviour merited celebration? My boyfriend, because he was very supportive and understanding and patient with me this year. And um, actually, my parents as well have been wonderful. Whose behaviour made you appalled? Where did most of your money go? Oh, on my rent for uni halls. <laughs> we get a maintenance loan, but most of that gets taken away by the rent for these halls, so there's that. But, um, train tickets, because I go up to see my boyfriend when he's in uni, and those tickets are expensive as. What did you get really, really, really excited about? Coming home from uni at Christmas time and seeing all my family again. That was... Oh. 
I couldn't sleep well the night before at all because I was just so excited. I couldn't. And then I woke up really, really early. And yeah, I love being at home. <laughs> I'm going to go with Can't Take My Eyes Off Of You by Frankie and The Four Seasons. Okay, compared to this time last year, are you A, happier or sadder, B, fatter or thinner, and C, richer or poorer? I'd say I was probably happier last year. So I was probably about the same weight, if maybe a tiny little bit fatter. And in terms of richer or poorer, I'm rich when my maintenance line comes in, but as soon as my rent comes out, I'm poor again. I'm poorer than I was this time last year, sadly. What do you wish you'd done more of? Um, Zumba class. What do you wish you'd done less of? Uh, procrastinating. How did you spend Christmas? At home with my family. Did you fall in love in 2017? Yeah, I did. What was your favourite TV programme? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, Hannibal and Stranger Things were fucking incredible. Do you hate anyone now that you didn't hate this time last year? No, there isn't really anyone I hate. And I said that last year as well, didn't I? So, What was the best book you read? Uh, Watchers by Dean Cooks. Uh, what was your greatest musical discovery? Mm, I started listening to Nirvana this time last year. They were pretty cool. Um, but this year my music taste has kind of just been listening to all the good songs. <laughs> I was like, you know, the classic ones that everyone knows and loves. Like Kung Fu Fighting. What did you want and get? My boyfriend. <laughs> and a place at uni. What did you want and not get? Um, really good A-level results. As in, the A-level results I got were good, and I am proud of them, but I think I was capable of better, and I know I wanted better, so. What was your favourite film of this year? Ooh. In terms of film that's been released in the cinema, probably Spider-Man Homecoming. What was one thing that made your year immeasurably more satisfying? Um, I think knowing that I had already got a place at university um, because of my unconditional and um, just having my boyfriend around because he's a really incredible person. <laughs> I'm not obsessed with him. Well, I mean, I am, but in a healthy way. How would you describe your personal fashion concept in 2017? Mm. Cool, swaggy, mature. I think, yeah, it's, it's matured this year because it's not as emo and edgy as it have now discovered jeans. You know, when they actually fit you, they're really cool, so. What kept you sane? <sighs> yeah, again. It's gonna be my boyfriend. Because he's just cool, okay? And he helped remind me not to be so... <sniffs> Which celebrity slash public figure did you fancy the most? There isn't really any I fancy. But there are two women who I think are absolutely fucking incredible. And that would be Hazel Hayes and Carrie Hope Fletcher. My god. <laughs> what political issues stirred you the most? <laughs> no, I've seen a lot recently about how damaging um, are waste and more specifically plastic has become to our world and that is just that saddens me <laughs> if you watch blue planet then yeah who did you miss oh gosh i really really miss my family i really miss them because we're all really close um and i also missed my best friend we had a, a, like a lot of classes together during secondary school when then she wasn't there at college and then kind of this year I was just like, oh, I'll miss her and I'll be back. But I saw lots over Christmas, so it's cool. Tell us a valuable life lesson you learned in 2017. What did I learn? Um... <laughs> okay, well, every single year on Facebook, on New Year's Eve, I'd always post something about, like, what I learned this year or something like that. 
and like each year it just got progressively longer and longer and longer until it was the point where just like you would see it and roll your eyes because you're like come on Rachel no one wants to read that shit um but this year I had forgotten to do it I then did do it except when I did it I was at a party and very incredibly drunk so but what I posted in it was I said I learnt to love life as it is quote a song lyric that sums up your year so what song will always remind you of 2017 is actually gonna be Be Still by The Killers it's an incredible song and it sums up all of the life lessons I should have learnt this year as well and a song lyric that sums up this year Be Still One Day You'll Leave Fearlessness On Your Sleeve so there we go, that is all of the questions, but yeah, so I do want to make more videos, and I know that I say that all the time, and please don't hold me to it, but I think I'm going to try. <laughs> um, yeah, so in terms of where this channel is headed, I think I do want to go down the route of um, kind of like a lifestyle how-to kind of thing, but I loads of different how-tos, just... Because I am going through my life learning how to figure out things and I want to share them and hope that other people find it helpful. So it's not just going to be how to do your makeup, but it will be stuff like how to get over a breakup or how to cook a meal. It's going to be like a survival guide to this channel, okay? <laughs> I think that's what I want to go for. Um, yeah, come along with me as I figure things out in my life and share them with you guys. Um, and I do want to create this sort of series um, of for beginners by a beginner. If you like the sound of that, let me know down below. I'm going to do it anyway, but it's still nice to know. And um, yeah, so that's been my 2017. I will see you when I see you. Have a good life. Bye bye.